crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the women. LTG, Low Tier God, Delon Sparrow, Dale Wilson, the Lancaster Coward Cuck Bitch, whatever the fuck Kiwi Farms is calling you right now, look, I don't give a fuck what you go by or what you prefer to go by. I'm going to call you whatever the fuck I want to call you. It's not like you can do anything about it anyways, Dale. So, you say you're unroastable. You know I'm an unroastable ass nigga, so... Ooh, boy, Dale, you are one delusional, dense motherfucker. Now I'm hoping to make this a spectacle, something that is ubiquitous, just like all the other videos on YouTube that have exposed you. Something for all to see, even after you undoubtedly try to flag this video like a coward. I'm gonna start off real slow, Dale, before I really start to eviscerate you mentally. Eviscerate. Eviscerate, that's what I said. Eviscerate. 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 And really dehumanize you. We've been dehumanitized. We were dehumanitized. So try to keep up, because I know your attention span and comprehension skills are worse than that of fucking Dory. Hell, by this time you've probably already paused the video no less than five times. Pretty sure that's an old head thing. Alzheimer's got you fucked up, huh, Dale? Also, you did say your favorite thing to do was debunk what people say about you. I'm not trying to be arrogant when I say this, but when somebody says something about me. Because I, I love to debunk people. Still waiting for you to actually debunk my last video. Or June's videos. Or any video exposing you online. Oh wait, how do you debunk things again? Spoken like a true scholar, right? Alright, let's get this out of the way early. You play and complain about games so fucking much. Stream sniper this, trolling that, using top tier, not playing no mirrors, literally bitching at every fucking match. Saying you go 2% when 2% skill is all you have. The rest of the 98% is crying like a little bitch. Making excuses. If you're so much better, just fucking beat them. If you shouldn't be losing, don't lose. How about you get good? Adapt. Wait, wasn't your model before to evolve? Yet you still have that primitive mindset. And this isn't just notable in Street Fighter V. But let's talk about it. You say it's a scrub game. And you're right, it is your game. The only game where you reached any type of decent ranking and were able to stand a chance against pro players because it is catered to you. Easy combos, comeback mechanics, V-Trigger, that's all there for a scrub like you. The only reason you enjoy games like Street Fighter 4 now in 2022 is because it's a dead game. There's no pros on it anymore. Who needs to do one frame links when all you do is zone and do cheap easy mode 3 to 4 hit combos. Yeah, the combos are harder to pull off so it's easier for your opponents to drop it. That's why you like it so much. Hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. What's all this about? You will never see me rage in Street Fighter 5 because it's an actual fighting game. Are you ready? When I played Street Fighter uh, 5 for those for those weeks that the beta was up and shit, it felt like a breath of fresh air because I got grabbed and I got right back up. I got swept and I got right back up. This game, I'm always in fear of blocking. Seems like you love hating on a game when it's popular and you're just gonna regurgitate the same old shit when Street Fighter 6 drops. It's the same old fucking shit! God damn! Then we get to Fight Cave. My God, see what happens when you play a real fighting game? You get fucking washed in Third Strike. It's too real for you, dude. Take your bitch ass back to Street Fighter V, scrub. You Better yet, you'll probably just go use more cheats on single player games to make yourself feel better. You know you lack skill. That's why you had to cheat in games like Elden Ring. Because you can't beat games legitimately.
Damn, that shit only gave me one fucking point. Well, goddamn. Hell, even fucking DSP doesn't resort to cheating and actually completes games and doesn't take the easy way out. I mean, he still sucks at them, but at least he's better than you. I'm sorry, not not to you. I'm sorry to Phil because because Phil is better than you. Imagine cheating and still getting clapped so bad that you have to cheat even more. That's fucking pathetic. And when you beat these games, it's a fake win. You aren't earning that shit. Reminds me of that one quote meme. You cheated, not only the game, but yourself. You didn't grow, you didn't improve, you took a shortcut and gained nothing. You experienced a hollow victory. Nothing was risked, nothing was gained. It's sad that you don't know the difference. As a matter of fact, how about you hop back on Sekido? You know, a game that regardless of what cheats you used, it takes skill to beat. Or better yet, just don't cheat on Elden Ring like a low morality coward. Just play the game legit. But honestly, it's not like you could complete it anyways. Couldn't even beat a kid's game like Super Mario 64. Keep losing and getting exposed like the skillless bitch you are. That's why you avoid games you can't cheat on. Because regardless of you claiming that you want adversity, that you work for and earn your shit, here you are being a hypocrite. Man the fuck up, Dale. Lastly, for the online games, it's apparent you set up a mirror behind your monitors because any time you're playing online, you keep projecting your insecurities like a motherfucker. No talent scrub, bum, 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 nervous fuck, go get a job, get a job, damn. The self-hate is real, huh? Frame traps, oh, uh, Opt out, you gotta opt out! You gotta opt out, bro. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm done speaking on games for now. Let's talk about your favorite thing to do, besides saying mom jokes or making up suspect gay fantasies. Dale, it's 2022, you're 37 years old, this ain't middle school anymore. Anyways, you tend to call people obsessed a lot, but before you go calling anyone obsessed, remember this. I got a video dropping, everybody, every time we stream, we're gonna flag that shit collectively. It's not fair nice. use, um, I'm never gonna use. let this go because it's bigger than just me at this point. I'm gonna take care of it though. I'm not gonna let up on this nigga at all. Pressing charges, suing, everything. Every time I come on stream, I'm gonna talk about it because I wanna let you niggas know that I'm serious. Oh yeah, yeah, I am totally the one that is obsessed with him. You know, I am the one who goes on every single one of my live streams and talk about him. That, that's me, that, that is totally me. Still salty as fuck because June made a check. Oh wait, my bad checks off of you. Maybe I'll donate you some mouthwash so you could taste something other than Viscount's dick for a bit. Eight years later and still can't get enough of it, huh? Oh, is that not enough proof for obsession? Well, let's talk about this. Oh god, I can't stand this nigga Jack Harlow, bro. Exactly, facts. Yup, woke up one day, everybody hated fucking uh, Jack Harlow. Yeah, that's all I've been seeing on Twitter is just Jack Harlow's trash, Jack Harlow sucks, Jack Harlow, Jack Harlow, horrible, this album's the worst thing ever fucking heard. Yeah, we just, we just low-key finished again. Um, we were talking about other shit and then it ended on more Jack Harlow bullshit. Alright, so, let's go to every Jack Harlow video, you ready? Like I said before, I didn't like this nigga back, um... I'm telling you guys, he's hiding a receding hairline. That's why he's wearing his hair like that. Fucking, um, I didn't like this dude in the XXL freshman bullshit. I just, <laughs> I thought he was kookily in that. I remember, I was mocking him in that shit. And I didn't even know anything about Jack Harlow back then. All up on Jack Harlow's dick, talking about him for days, checking him out on your stream for hours. Talk about obsession. You're very clearly sexually attracted to him. Because there's no reason for you to not like another dude on the internet if you're not attracted to that person. I mean, you said so yourself. I told you I hate the Warriors with a passion. I don't want to hear about that lame ass nigga Steph Curry or anything about it. I literally hate the Warriors and hate Steph Curry with a passion. I'm, I, anything Warriors on, on my timeline, on Twitter, anything, I've literally been blocking it. I block Steph Curry. I just... I just don't like the team. I just, I think it's, ah, I just don't even want to talk about it. And this isn't the only time you do this. You constantly do it with other celebrities and more notably rappers. 
but I think I've proven my point. So as a public figure, you want people to follow you on all socials, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, your fourth Twitter account after getting banned three times. Really seeking that false validation, huh? Yet another point for the hypocrisy counter. Also, ban evasion is against TOS Dale, remember that. Anyways, you want people to turn notifications on throughout all your platforms, yet that's your go-to insult for the trolls. That they got notifications on, following you everywhere, just waiting. You're only making fun of your obsessed brain dead fans that constantly dick ride. Yes, spineless sandbagger Black Haze, Andronicus the Thwomp, Stockholm Syndrome Dixon, and cuckold racist Laz, that means you. And that's only a fraction of your community which brain cells as a whole would fail to reach double digits, but I'll circle back around to them later on. Right now, let's talk about you being obsessed with the trolls. And yeah, you can deny it all you want, but you definitely are. And I'll tell you why. So, you call the trolls tear sexuals. And at this point, you believe everyone is a tear sexual, huh? Got you mentally fucked so hard, you're paranoid that everyone you come across is trolling. You know what? That word tear sexual may actually fit. Since I know for a fucking fact you're illiterate and more than likely have dyslexia because you obviously can't spell for shit. Trolls could very well be tear sexuals because you're clearly sexually attracted to them, always mentioning them in every stream, making up gay fantasies about them. So all the fantasy shit that I that I all the fantasy shit that I'm saying when I roast people, like it dead ass happened to me. And all I can picture is the Saturn stick slowly but but truly going up your ass and there's nothing you can do about it. it looks <laughs> and they make you tear up as they tear up your mentality. I mean, I know they live rent free in your head. That's why you have sub mode on constantly and cry behind that cam 30. What happened to mentally untouchable? And you private your Twitter every time you get ratioed, or when you get your feelings hurt, or hell, just being called out makes you run and hide. Now, to be fair, I did private my IG when you doxed me, but you gotta remember, I didn't have a platform before, especially not one with an army of brain dead cucks like you do. But you know what's worse? Now that I do have a platform to fight back on, you try to silence me and every other channel by false flagging videos for exposing what a toxic bitch you are. Now you do realize you are only famous because of the trolls, right? The troll community is the only reason you are known at all. Look, the people you are after are the people you depend on. Do not fuck with us. You're not an entertainer, you're a clown, a fucking circus act. And you'll never be like Etika. He was actually entertaining and would play parts that were necessary and own that shit. But you? You're just a laughing stock, a fucking failure. All that pride, yet you literally have nothing to be prideful about. More importantly, Etika was a beloved content creator that was always upbeat and wouldn't berate his viewers or fanbase, or tell someone to kill themselves especially if someone he looked up to had taken his own life. Dale, you are by far one of the biggest hypocrites with the platform. It was you that called other YouTubers expert clout chasers. Something like about your career as a professional clout chaser. Because to me, that's exactly what the nigga is. He's a professional clout chaser. This nigga deadass will just steal popular people's videos, run ads over it, and talk about it. You don't have no talent, don't nobody know who the fuck you are, and it's crazy because this nigga has a solidified fan base. Like a solidified fan base for a nigga that literally just steals people's shit. A couple things here. A very large portion of low tier gods content is talking about people who are way bigger than him as well as viral clips. Yet here you are making topic videos, how very fucking original. Still barely hitting 10 to 15k average views though. Guess those sub bots to get you to 100k didn't do much for you, huh? You are the only person that I know of that constantly speaks in all caps. And I don't mean because you're always yelling. I mean because you're always fucking lying. 
speaking on topics and giving your expert opinion on shit you have no business speaking on. Your method of analyzing any given situation is half-assed. Coupled with illiterate reading, with little to no research done, you couldn't even do a quick search to see what Kevin Samuel's correct age was before making your video to leech off of his passing. 57 years old, Dale. Took me 5 fucking seconds. Do I consider you an expert cloud chaser? Fuck no! Bottom of the barrel lazy fuck cloud chasing and unoriginal ideas sounds more like it. Dale, you are so stuck in your own simulation, you can't see that you're just a knockoff, blue-pilled, EBT, MJ get right. And you tried shitting on red pill channels when you literally regurgitate the same shit they say. Again, such a fucking hypocrite. You also challenged KSI to a sparring match. Extreme desperation for a piece of clout. You are so fucking delusional to think that a YouTube celebrity with 23 million plus subscribers would ever give you the time of day. You found it so funny that he reacted to your rage videos, yet when a smaller YouTuber does it, you try to berate him. Imagine if the roles were reversed. You would be all up on this guy's dick trying to clout chase, and you'd berate KSI. The fuck you setting up this shit? This nigga got his whole setup to talk about me. All right, Spook, let's hear it. Everybody that's not black, this is the prime definition of a worthless nigga in society, a worthless nigga in America. When you hear about these cop stories, if it's one of these niggas, don't feel sorry. He wasn't doing shit anyway. Take the bonnet off, nigga. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm funny or not, monkey. And in reality, why even challenge people to a fight? Look back at all the people you ducked already. Stop thinking you're tough and threatening people you think you could beat in a fight. You know, guys like Viscont and June, you're not a man, you're a certified bitch. And before you tell me to pull up again, remember, you're the one that said you'd pull up to deliver mail. I'm still here, where's my mail, bitch? Now, before you Dale sexuals start pulling up to the comment section and mindlessly try to defend this broke, simp, racist, closeted, homophobic, transphobic, bitch-made coward, I want you to know this. He does not care about you, only your money. And I, I'm gonna just let you niggas know, I see the people that refuse to resub on Twitch, but will be in this stream with a dollar pledge. I see you bitch ass niggas, just know that. So if you randomly end up banned in my uh, Twitch chat, you know why. If this is what you're doing with your spare time, and you're black, and if you're watching my stream, you should be ashamed even of your motherfucking self. Like, there's got to be something else you could do with your life. Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. I only interact with people because I'm gonna have to. He has not changed. That's all fake because the day before he got his Twitch back, he docks Trevor and myself for the third time. Trolls expose him because he is a shitty person that doesn't deserve a platform. And before you say, you have no life always trolling, Who's the one tuning into all of his boring NyQuil ass streams just to get berated? I only occasionally watch troll videos here and there which are morphed into something that's actually fucking entertaining. I don't have time to waste watching someone staring at his phone for 8 hours. As for the stream snipers, I really don't see how they're wasting their time. From what I see, they're actually a key player. They're enjoying a game while cooking Dale online. So much so that he has to make a tier sexual list. I got so many goddamn lists, it's not even funny. Like, why do I have a tier sexual list for every fighting game I play online? Like, you should see how long my tier sexual list is for Tekken. It's like, it's literally like over 60 people. Which, let's be realistic, it's all just a list of people he can't beat in a video game, so he chooses to avoid them. I do, however, love the insults you all try so hard to use. For instance, job. Job what? Do you need a job? Are you asking me for a job? Oh, you want to know my job. Well, I could mention the properties that I own and manage, and that's not just in Cali, plus how much I make a year. Spoiler alert, it's way more than Dale. But there's no point in it, really. You won't believe me anyways. That's how mentally fucked Dale has you. You want to believe that since I choose to roast that piece of shit, 
or people choose to troll that somehow our lives are anywhere near as sad and pathetic as his is. Even when trolls like Gucci flex, you still choose to believe that we are all broke. You don't have to be famous to make great money. It's all gown money too, this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing, G. If you need anything, this is money, this is, come on now, come on now. Hey, Dale, you bitch ass. Also, I could really roast some of you Kukkanet members for the numerous instances of fatherless behavior that you have displayed. And believe me, there's plenty. Bam. I never claimed to be a saint after all. But as hilarious and entertaining as that would be, that's not the topic of this video. And regardless of what I say, some of you Dale sexuals are too far gone. You'll believe any lies Dale tells you and you'll defend him to the death, while still commenting on troll videos pushing the algorithm for us. So in reality, thank you for being so fucking gullible. The creator was not going to make me six foot five, peanut butter complexion, athletic, smart, and a physique that probably you don't see every day. Well, I guess it's time to talk about something truly grotesque. That's right, Dale, your appearance. LTG, nigga ugly as fuck. What? I'm ugly, my nigga? <laughs> nigga, in what multiverse am I ugly? In every last one of them. But since you're so fucking delusional, I'll break it down for you. So, you're six foot five. They still stack shit that high? That height is irrelevant. But all of that's oblivious. And you know why? What the fuck is that got in you? You're not an athlete. You don't play basketball. You don't play any sport professionally. So what good is it? It just makes you an overgrown failure. And God Angel Gene? Dale, you know those deformed shoulder blades don't mean you're going to sprout wings and fly. Even though it's a medical term called winged scapula. Let me spell it out for you though. Your back is fucked up. Must be taking the wrong kind of steroids since you plateaued years ago. Being damn near 40 ain't doing you any favors with your shitty ill-proportioned physique. And how is it ill-proportioned, you say? Oh shit, the chicken legs. Oh fuck. Ah yes, those chicken legs. You top-heavy 90s cartoon Johnny Bravo mutation. You stay avoiding squats and leg equipment as much as you avoid fights. What's that you say about those stilts? And my legs never run out of gas because they're not that big. They don't hold oxygen. Yeah, apparently they don't hold muscle either. Walking around DT's room like a cockroach. You be skipping leg day as much as you skip dentist appointments. And seriously, what the fuck happened there? Did somebody stick a piece of dynamite in your mouth? You must be related to Baraka. I bet you could eat corn on the cob through a fucking fence. Hell, your teeth are probably the reason you left LA. Anytime you smiled, it looked like you were throwing fucking gang signs. And seriously, what the fuck is up with that Nasher ass tooth? Is that like a can opener? How about you make yourself useful for once and open me up a can of pozole? Nomás no te comes el metal pinche cara de duende. Your picket fence teeth are hard to miss. That's why you photoshop them in your thumbnails. But when that fails, I guess that huge bottom lip tries its best to hide them. You must be praying for the day that Chapstick releases a spray so you don't go through three tubes a day. And how's that Etch-a-Sketch beard growth coming along? Even Minoxidil couldn't fix that fucking mange on your face. I know mange isn't supposed to affect humans much, but since you qualify as a bitch, I guess you get the full effects. Then you also dress like shit on top of that. Remember when you tried roasting my wardrobe? Your whole wardrobe is retro video game shirts, retro anime shirts. Was that meant to be an insult? The shirts I wear are vastly superior to any shitty low quality merch you have ever produced. Here's some examples of that horrendous wardrobe. Endless Under Armour tees. Lost in the Supermarket Manchild. The Bully Magnet. Pride Parade Dale. Wannabe Thug Dale. How about the Covenant Glory Hole Mask? Or the self proclaimed Cuckhold? And who can forget Wannabe Miguel? Some fucking wardrobe, right? And you call that style? Wait, no, oh hell no, oh hell, what the, hell no, this motherfucker is cosplaying dumb Donald? <laughs> like nigga, don't nobody look like me, period. 
I'm a one of a fucking kind. I'm not one of these normal looking ass niggas. Nobody look like me. Nobody look like me. Nobody look like me. I'm a one of a fucking kind. 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 Now let's talk about the peanut butter complexion. Dale, you have like eight different shades of complexion by the looks of it, and not one of them is Skippy or Jif. You have what I would call a diarrhea Dale complexion. And that makes sense since you shit in the shower. Toilet paper spreads E. coli. Actually, not using toilet paper spreads E. coli because when you shoot up the thing and all you poop splats in the bathtub, I've seen it before. Well, actually, I used, I've seen I used it. The toilet paper to test the ass first. I've seen it. To test the ass first. I've You've never seen, seen shit in the shower. And then we, he has like the shower curtain on the inside of the shower and then you can smell it. He's nasty. He thinks he's clean, but he's actually nasty. Like I said, I'm one of the cleanest niggas ever. Stop the cap. <laughs> No boys. Don't let me tell you guys. The only thing I don't like to do is clean a tub. Tell her to wash some shit rags. I wash my own shit rags. She doesn't even like the fact that I use a shit rag. Maybe your scalp wouldn't be so itchy if you used your shower to actually take a fucking shower and not shit in it. Sparrow Delon. No, I'm not calling you by a shitty name you made up. I'm wondering why the fuck you have that tatted on your arms. Has anyone ever looked up a sparrow? This is a sparrow. Might as well call yourself Tiny Dick Delon. Also, I'm just reading it as intended since your stupid ass had it tatted backwards. And look, if you did it to not forget your name, then you really fucked up because that's not how you spell Dale Wilson. I mean, I can't really expect much from someone that's built like a fucking punch out character looking just like Mr. Sandman. And no, Dale, I don't mean the Wii version. I'm thinking more the decade you were born in, the OG 1980s Sandman. See, you got the legs, the fucked up hair, and a face that matches a real life fucking goblin. As a whole, you are a talentless failure. Do you have any actual skills at all? You don't play sports or fight. You can't act. You can't sing. Don't worry, I'm keeping the audio muted for this. Your voice is bad enough as it is. No one deserves to suffer that kind of torture. You can't dance. You have no social life since you stream practically every night. Do you know how to play an instrument? Like a guitar? Piano? A ukulele? What the fuck is a yuki You You Kelly? You could. What the fuck word is that? You could. I've never seen that word in my life. You. You Kelly? You. You Keel Lele? Yuki Lele? Oh, Yukaley. Okay. Yukaley, right? Are right, we skipping that one? Oh, that's right. You know how to play the flute like a pro. <laughs> when you say you teach girls how to get flute dome, I guess that's just one of those tricks you picked up when you got locked up, right, felon? I mean, look at me. I'm a specimen. I understand that. Face it, Dale. You're not a specimen. You're a failed experiment. Buddy, <laughs> you still there? Oh, we're not done yet, Dale. Though by this point, you've probably already left the video from utter humiliation because you can't stand being roasted. Or you're pausing the video every five seconds to try to re-piece together your shattered cognitive. This takes me zero effort, Dale. So I'm going to continue, even though I know you mentally checked out 10 seconds into the video. Always trying to dish it out, but you can't take it for shit. You got micro dick energy for sure. Trying to ignore everything I've said isn't going to make it hurt any less. Alright, let's switch it up and talk about that fucked up personality. So we'll begin with you clearly being a racist. Hating on Mexicans, people speaking Portuguese. Mods ban anybody speaking Portuguese. Let's get these jungle fuckers out of here. This is an English stream, motherfuckers. How the fuck you gonna be from Brazil in your computer in a hut talking shit? Get the fuck out of here, man. Calling whites biscuits. Oh, that fucking biscuit ass, punk, coward, bitch ass motherfucker, if you're watching, don't worry. I'll see your fucking white ass in court. You call Chiba Gaming an overseas rice eater. And of course, all the racial slurs and hate against your own race. What is wrong with your black ass? You fucking monkey. Whatever the fuck your name is, Spook, Ape, Coon, Moon Cricket, Porch Monkey, uh, Baboon, Gorilla, Black Ghost, 
What else does this nigga look like? Critters, nigglet, any black clown you could think of is wrong with this motherfucking monkey. This is what the fuck is wrong with niggas. Apes like this. You're not a closeted racist. They try to hide it and cover it up. You're just a racist that's in denial. You know what? Donovan Hunt had it wrong when he called you an Uncle Tom. You're not. You're an Uncle Ruckus. I don't even think the KKK dislike blacks. I just think they... I don't even think it's... It's not even on that type of time anymore. There's just places your ass ain't supposed to go, bro. I mean, why can't he come? Nigga, it is, it's, a, it's a clan meeting. You know niggas ain't allowed at clan meetings? Why are we acting like... Why are we acting like it's racist because he can't come to a clan meeting? I don't know. You, I, I swear you niggas will look for anything and label that shit racist. Being a KKK member ain't racist? Nah, I don't think so. They think minorities are subhuman? So? I've been cool with a lot of motherfuckers with red laces, black boots that claim white power, but fuck with me. Never in my life have I ever heard a straight, heterosexual man be so angry while making gay fantasy jokes glorifying BBCs, also complaining about pussy so much, pH levels this, smell that, like what kind of man does that? Oh, that's right, the same one that while having two girls in his bed, prefers to stream and get relentlessly beat 50-0 by Punisher. Clearly you prefer the company of men. You even watch 90 Day Fiance while apparently living at home alone with two cats. Tell me that's not suspect. Alright, look my guys, it's time for me to go watch some 90 Day Fiance. Well, what about this? Baddest bitch in the FGC. Um, so that's like my... I have to gap and let a nigga slide in and fuck. I would never allow a nigga to get on top of me and fuck me. I would have to ride your dick at all times. I'm a man eater, I eat up your pockets, nigga. I eat up your time and revenue for you sucking my dick daily in my fucking streams, making a million different usernames. That's what I eat up, nigga. You're a man and I eat your dick, bitch. I'm a virtual, I'm a virtual gay man. If somebody says a virtual gay man, Yes, I'm a virtual gay man. I've never actually had sex with another guy, but I've virtually had helmet sex with plenty of men. Now this nigga, he obviously just got finished sucking cock. Looks, I don't know if that's a little bit of sperm on his chin. You are gay. The sooner you realize that, the better. What? Bro, I ain't gay, dog. You better chill out. Suck dick, nigga. Who the fuck? Just admit it. Fuck it. Seriously, Dale, how far deep in the closet are you? Did he find R. Kelly while you were trapped in there yet? Actually, come to think of it, that must be where you got your getting pissed on fetish from. <clears throat> what are we doing today? I might have a fantasy of your mom urinating in my goddamn mouth with my tongue wide open. She said she had cranberry juice that so was a little bit flavorful. Wait, that's probably what happens to all your piss bottles. Using them as cereal water, right? At your age and you still blame everyone else and never take responsibility for shit. And I'm not talking about video games, Dale. You blamed your father for not putting you in sports as a kid. If you were any good, you would have taken the initiative yourself. 37 and still not an actor? You gonna blame him for that too? How about taking some personal responsibility? Instead, here you are, the literal gill of retail. There it is. You got the GNC red, the Goodwill blue, and the Walmart yellow. I wonder which retail job you'll add to that list once you're banned off of Twitch and YouTube. Dale, you're that kid that never recovered from getting bullied in high school, so you use your streams as a way to relive your high school years, pretending to be cool, pretending you're smart, all the while history is just repeating itself, you're still getting humiliated daily, and you're still a fucking moron. Still making mom jokes and gay sexual fantasies you used to write in your diary about the guys that would bully you. I was a weirdo and dweeb just like these fucks. I was never popular in school or anything like that, so... The same material since 2014. So fucking stale, Dale. Streaming seven days a week with zero social life. Those acting classes you paid for didn't work for shit. You have acting skills that would make Tommy Wiseau cringe. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! Why would I be a full-time streamer? <laughs> the fuck? I live in real life. 
I was on Twitch, I could do that, but I'm not, so I can't. And even then, I still wouldn't want to be a full-time streamer. Absolutely not. Life's too vast for that, so. Do I still think I'm going to be streaming in two years? Shit, hopefully not. Only way I'll still be streaming in two years if every single director told me no. I guess every director said no. Face it, Dale, you're no fucking actor. You look in the mirror and you see Will Smith, when in reality, it's Trey Smith looking back at you. For those of you that may not know, Trey Smith is Will Smith's other son. Yes, I know. People usually overlook him, just as James Wilson overlooks Dale. Also, this video here covers Dale's delusional aspiration to be an actor. Anyways, Dale, you're damn near 40 and still no kids? Hell, even Wings of Redemption has a wife and a property. The only pussy you get is from having your cats Dexter and Cryo at home. Or when you look in the mirror. I mean, it's probably all for the best. No need to pass on your fucked up genetics. And those kids would hate having a father like you. So I'm not gonna raise my kids on some emotional bullshit. Dad, can we play music? Music toxicitizes, 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 toxicitizes your mind. But look, I'm gonna let you live your life. But I'm just letting you know music toxicitizes your mind. But no problem, look, I'll play whatever you want. Is being a streamer out of the question? Fuck yes, for my kid, absolutely. The fuck would you need to be a streamer for? If he wants to be an engineer, I guess I'll have other kids. All right, first stop is Walmart. Grab my four-year-old. I'm gonna see somebody putting away shampoo and pulling pallets. I'm gonna be like, excuse me, you mind if my four-year-old tries to pull this pallet? Uh, nah, bro, go ahead. I'd be like, all right, cool. I'd be like, yo, such and such, pull that pallet. It, uh, pull it. He gonna try to pull a pallet of merchandise, shampoo, tampons. He gonna try to pull it. But dad, I can't. I'm gonna create some extremely dangerous children. With how mentally fucked you are, I have no doubt those kids would end up being dangerous to themselves and others. And that's not mentioning what would happen if you had a daughter. There's no way in hell I wanna wait nine months just to find out I'm having a fucking daughter. Wait, I do a gender reveal and there's pink balloons. What, you expect to see excitement? I'll just be like. Well, that's a waste of nine months. All right, as soon as this one comes out and it's and we can fuck again, let's get another one popping and let's see what we get. This time, we'll try to go to sex selection. You are the definition of a worthless piece of shit in society. You say others don't contribute to the world? Well, what the fuck have you done? Rage at video games and clout chase? Speaking of burning idle time, who's the low life fuck that sits around all day flagging videos instead of working on themselves? If trolls want to spend time making troll videos, that's their choice. How about you mind your own fucking business? Furthermore, how exactly is anything you're doing going to get us into space? You contribute absolutely fuck all. So before you say others are worthless, take a long hard look in the mirror at what a real Mars worker looks like. Fuck all of you. Just because you pretend you've changed on Twitch to evade getting banned does not cover up all the shit you have said and done. What the fuck did I do that was so bad to you? You constantly deflect the blame on someone or something else to justify your shitty actions. Or try to make it seem like what you have done is less criminal by comparison. No, you have not murdered or committed grand larceny, as you have said before, but a crime committed still deserves repercussions. You have put people's lives at risk by doxing them, not to mention the fact that you are a fucking groomer. I, you know what, I do touch kids. But more on that later. Also, what kind of pathetic person constantly tells people to kill themselves? Clearly someone trying to cover up that they are driven by emotion. Emotional men are weaklings. Simple as that. A man that thinks with emotion is not a strong individual. We're not talking about physically, we're talking about mentally. 
any man that operates off emotion is a weak ass individual. If a man is crying over you, he's dangerous. If a man is yelling at, he, at you, he's dangerous. If a man is doing crazy shit, any type of domestic, snatch you up anything, he is dangerous or can be dangerous in the future. You cannot trust an emotional man. You fucking bad luck. You sitting over here laughing trying to feed off my stream. The fuck's wrong with you, man? I'm gonna cry. Go ahead. Why are you in my fucking establishment, dude? You literally fucking over my whole mood. Because you're being too extra. I don't care because right you're pissing me off. Too extra. Shit. Her <laughs> ass was in dead room for laughing at the shit. I'm Ain't sorry. nothing funny. You quiet. You fucking up my motherfucking match. <laughs> the fuck wrong with you, dude? Oh, get. Sh I said you didn't lose yet. <laughs> Hold on. You have. Eyelash on your eye. It's gonna go in your eye and it's gonna hurt. Don't move. Oh my goodness, I'm just trying to help you. Nigga, I swear to everything. I was trying to find a way to kill myself. I was driving in the rain hella fast. I didn't give a fuck. Nigga, I was hoping somebody hit me. Because I had a fucked up feeling. I felt like a, like a mule in a sense. Selfishly putting others' lives at risk while you were recklessly driving. That's fucking idiotic. Why should others be in danger because you're an emotionally weak man? The only people that still support you are clearly mentally ill. Or just straight up idiots. Oh, right. Well, that figures. I will feel absolutely no remorse when you get your just desserts. I'm enslaved to YouTube. I'm enslaved to Twitch. So, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Fake Ass Baller, you claim that everyone is broke and you're doing way better in life. I'm a fucking boss, you bitch ass niggas. None of you niggas are doing better than me. Get that shit through your thick fucking skull. None of you broke ass niggas on my dick are doing better than me. Damn, I guess renting out a Section 8 approved apartment in Lancaster is like climbing Mount Everest to you. And now you moved into DT's bedroom for your streams. Wow, you are killing it in life. Went from sleeping on a frameless bed to sleeping on the floor. What kind of baller begs for links on Twitter to watch UFC matches for free? Or has illegal movie streaming websites booked on his Chrome webpage? Also, if you're such a baller, how come you haven't paid to fix that fucked up grill? Braces must be too expensive, huh Dale? What about paying the internet bill and cell phone bill late? I don't know, Spectrum be on some bullshit, so they'll slow down your speeds if you don't pay the bill. Yes. <laughs> so, there's two things I don't like paying for on time. Internet and cell phone. So I just paid the, the bill just to get it caught up. Or complaining about how much you hate people because you have to pay rent. I was just walking at Walmart today, I was trying to get a money order, and I just looked around and human beings are just so ugly to me. I just, I really just, I realize that I don't like people. I think humans are just a dumb fucking creation. I'm like, I'm sitting in line waiting, you know, to get a money order for rent. And I'm like, why are these niggas still paying utility bills with MoneyGram and Western fucking Union? I, just that, just looking at people. I just, I don't, when I'm in public, people don't exist to me. I don't look at them. I don't acknowledge them. I only deal with what I have to deal with. I don't like looking at human beings. It's like I always find something gross about a, about a human, you know? Just whether it be like how they smell, something wrong with the hygiene, how stupid they are. I just, I only interact with people because I'm gonna have to. And you have a closet full of cheap ass Under Armour shirts and unsold shitty Cuckanet merchandise. Funny how you wanted your donations through friends and family. It's probably because you don't have any friends or family. There's parts of your brain you can shut off. Yeah, you must have turned off your brain completely. Such higher intelligence from a so-called scholar. Don't tell me what the fuck to talk. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. There's a difference. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. You can have this conversation with me if you have not even completed college at all. Dale, you fail to realize that education does not translate into intelligence. Clearly, neither of those two degrees are in English or math. Dehumanitized. Excavation. What the fuck is a yuki yule? I must reteriorate? I must reterate. Sorry about that. I must reterate. I think that's what it says. So it says inviscerate. 
to $100 to become a mod for a day and inviscerate charismatic music toxicizes graphical ungraphical sky and if you spin your entire drive gouge why should i turn my mic on for you motherfuckers how many motherfuckers do we have in this stream hold on let's do some motherfucking math real quick some easy addition and subtraction shit right so we got 204 fucking people hold up 209 souls in this bitch 209 souls right 200 motherfucking nine souls let's do math 200 plus 8200 plus 3600 you do the fucking math plus all you motherfuckers on my facebook infiltrating to say shit to kappa ain't nobody buying shit if i had real fucking supporters if i was maximilian release some teas instant sell out no matter what the fuck i do the fuck i can't sell 20 motherfucking t-shirts to 10,000 people blow a dick i'm putting my mic back on mute the numbers don't lie you went from uav straight to gnc so you got an aa in health and fitness yet a real personal trainer took your girl from you and trained her the right way damn must suck and he's a real baller with his own gym too then you have a bachelor's in business damn didn't know that e-begging daily for donations and subs online is business appreciation day baby ah <sighs> you don't pay it you don't see it strip club baby there's nothing about- I'm, I'm not laughing. If you niggas think I'm laughing, then pay 50 for the fucking cam! Or attempting to manipulate one of your mods to buy 50 of your unsold jerseys. Shout out to Rox for that info. Didn't know they taught exploitation and tax evasion in business courses either. Why would anyone take advice from you when you clearly have failed in the fields you studied in? Let's be real here. We know how you really got those degrees. If you think you can graduate from this school, without kissing my cock <laughs> you are dead wrong it definitely wasn't because of your intellect besides who's gonna want to take advice from somebody that does this i'll never forget one time i went to the movies and one of my seats was next to and i kept smelling just straight up ass it was nobody right there but it was you know when you first go into a theater they clean it and i just kept smelling booty a booty aroma and i'm just looking around and I'm like, where the fuck is this ass coming from? And I kept like trying to smell each seat, not like put my nose to it. But I kept trying to like sniff each seat to see like where the fuck is this ass coming from because I don't want to sit in ass. And then I guess I, I can't believe somebody was sitting in the theater with just it's almost like they didn't have ass cheeks and it was just straight anus that was sitting on the seat. Like they had diarrhea, like had hot chili fries ass exploded on the seat and they just sat there the whole movie just rubbing it in between their cheeks with hair a whole ass weirdo ass motherfucker. you're not even creative in the least and it shows with all of your stolen arts that includes the gems and the images used on your stream and crappy merchandise hell shin black felt so bad for you that he bought your entire stock of covenant bath towels that went unsold and donated them to the homeless in his town so somewhere in the US, there is a group of homeless people with your shit merch. But what happens when Shin Black or CLMF CLMF, the clumsy motherfucker Don't buy all of your leftover crap. Oh right, it becomes a relic. Garbage that you couldn't sell and is now stuffed in your closet right next to your true sexuality. That means you're gay. And what about the stuff you did sell, but never shipped out? Scamming past fans like Shaq right here. Damn. You better give me my motherfucking money for I'll beat your motherfucking ass. It ain't about the money, my nigga. It's about the principle, my nigga. You tried to hold me, bitch ass nigga. But you can't, nigga, because I'm my name, Big Shaq, nigga. I ain't no little ass boy. I ain't none of these scary ass nigga that you got in your little... Cloaks or whatever the fuck you want to call this cold ass shit, my nigga. You can't control who and who I can't talk to, my nigga. I ain't no bitch ass nigga like the rest of them, cuz. Fuck is you talking about, my nigga? And if you don't give me my motherfucking hoodie back, send my hoodie or my money, I'm gonna come see about you, my nigga. Yeah, Shaq was not happy to say the least. And unfortunately, I have to censor what he says a bit. As hilarious as it is, but you can check out Shaq on Twitch. I'll have his channel linked below. Stop fucking playing with me, boy. You don't know who the fuck you fucking with, my nigga. I ain't like these other niggas, bro. I will really come. 
as I stated before, you've bullied others online, like Boogie, Momokun, Broly Legs. Nothing but fat jokes and making fun of someone's disability. Real god tier roasting, right? Dicky Minaj, bag of donuts, lard gargling, calorie thieving. You you live at home, bitch nigga. But is that not recent enough? What about June the King? What was that you said about him? Don't ask me about that nigga again. Somebody like him would run from me in person. And he wouldn't be able to run from me because I would catch his pipsqueak ass, choke him out till he begged me, begged me for life. Then right on his last inch of breath, I would literally say, so you still, so you still gonna research me, huh? Like, no, with the LTD, please, no. Oh, oh. And I'm just still choking him while he got his laptop, while he deletes the video. Typical, you'd pick on someone you feel is weaker. Shows how bitch made you really are. This is nigga, a nigga like this is gonna run from you in person too. Like imagine if I seen this nigga IRL, like this dude would run from me. I'd be like, yo, I'd be like, hey, I just wanna talk to you real quick. I'd be like, don't run. He'd try to run, I'd catch up to him in a light, in a fucking light speed lightning bolt. I'd be like, let me ask you a motherfucking question, bro. Like, let me ask you a question. Why would you drop that video? Like when you don't know shit about me, you could have DM me and asked me like, if you were really that curious about me, you could, I would just make this nigga shit his draws. Put my arm around him, like, come here real quick, bro. Let me ask you a quick question. Let me ask you, why do you drop videos like that on your page? You trying to do this for a check, pussy? This what you do for a living? This is funny to you? You want to drop shit like this, bro? Man, I'd love to just talk to this nigga IRL. Just instill fear in this guy. Wow, big talk, yet here you are still ducking fights, even when money is involved. Just like this guy on Twitter. What happened, Dale? Did your, did your balls drop off? Hmm? Sounded so eager to get your hands on a troll before. You really hate me that bad? Come see me in person. Let's throw down like men. That's all we gotta do. Let's throw down like men in person and I will beat the living shit out of you probably till death. Try me in person. Let's do physical combat. I will choke you out, make your fucking head turn purple and pop that shit off, man. I'm not playing. I wish that a troll would come see me in person. If you got the balls, pull up, let's throw hands. Don't try to pull up with a weapon, none of that. Pull up, let's throw hands. You hate me so bad. Wouldn't it feel better to, to beat me to a pulp with your fist? Do it then. Google 24-Hour Fitness, let me know you're outside, and I'll beat the living dog shit out of you. Come pull up, throw hands. We don't gotta kill each other, but I can beat the living shit out of you. Any, look, any nigga pull up to my doorstep, I will shit you. I'm dead ass serious. Any troll you, any you niggas ever try to pull up to my shit, I will shoot you with zero hesitation. I will blow your fucking kneecaps out. Keep fucking around and thinking this shit is a game. You niggas try me, IRO, I will shoot you. And I will sleep perfectly. I will blow your shit away. Keep fucking around with me. I have yet to see any of you niggas IRL. I will blast your ass. Keep thinking I don't possess firearms. Keep it, keep, keep thinking that. What, because I didn't come up here with some, with, with, with my Glocks and all, like, no, I'm not doing any of that. I will shoot you niggas, I'm not fucking around. Don't try to pull up with a weapon. Don't try to pull up with a weapon. Don't try to pull up with a weapon. I guess my last video must have really stricken a nerve with you. No longer confident in your own hands and resorting to using firearms. You know, I compared you to Dory at the start of the video. Actually, you're definitely more of a clownfish, since apparently you've lost your balls. When it comes to actually fighting, we all know why you won't try any of that shit on someone relatively your size, because you definitely catch hands. Damn, imagine just like knowing you about to get fucked up. Besides, you know for a fucking fact you won't try that shit because you're not that guy. Okay? You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. And that's how you know you're a bitch. You ain't about that life. You ain't about that life. I've got a peer-reviewed study right here that says... <sighs> mm.
says you're a pussy. I mean, after all. <laughs> oh shit, my bad. I forgot. You're illiterate. I mean, really. You're kind of weak. <laughs> Let me shut my fucking mouth. Now, so far I've avoided this because Dale is in his own special class of stupid. Says he travels through time or is an extraterrestrial. Well, let's talk about it, Dale. You say you traveled through alternate dimensions or come from the future? I told you guys I come from the future. I'm from the future. I took a time travel machine here. Why do you think I'm so dissatisfied with humanity in this current timeline? I've already seen the future and what humans become. <laughs> right now, where we are in this timeline, you guys can't even imagine what we became. This is worthless. This timeline is worthless. I'm not allowed to go back into our completed task. <laughs> So, if that's true, you must already know that you never become an actor, and you end up a fucking failure, right? So let's just say I go to a million auditions, and everybody tell me no. Nigga, do you think I'm gonna stop at a million? No, I'm gonna keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep... and somebody gonna tell me yes. That probability is like, you're gonna make the shit. If that's, if that's, the, if that's the, if that's your initiative, you're gonna make it. Like, how the fuck you, how the fuck you not gonna get to where you wanna go? If you just keep doing it to somebody tell you yes. And if you do dimension hop, why keep coming back to one where you're so mentally fractured by trolls? Oh, do you not have control over that? Does the creator decide where you go? Well, if that's the case, then the creator is laughing at you. You said he gifted you the BBC, yet you are so insecure that a celebrity is going to slide into a girl that you don't have's DMs. If the creator really did gift you, and that's all that matters, then why do you constantly keep getting cheated on? So I told my homie about it. I was like, man, fuck this shit. I was like, tonight, we're gonna get fucking dressed, we're going to that fucking apartment, and we're gonna stake out what the fuck is happening. And we try to peek through windows, and I like, I seen her, like, sitting on this dude's lap a few times and everything. And I was gonna throw a rock to the window. He's like, no, nah, nigga, don't do that. <laughs> He's like, don't do that, my nigga. So I'm just hot. I'm like, I'm kicking trees. I'm going crazy. I said, fuck it. After a night of depression and everything, I slept it off. First thing I did when I woke up, I kept blowing up her fucking phone, blowing up her fucking phone, call it, call it, call it, call it, answered around noon or some shit. I said, what the fuck happened last night? I seen everything that popped. I seen you sitting on this nigga's lap to the window, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I had sex with him last night. I got drunk. I had sex with him. I said, what the fuck? I said, you fucking serious, you kid? Shit, you know, we banged not once but twice. And I thought I was back in the good graces. She chilled over the house to like 536. Kicking it in the living room, my mom was there, my sister was there braiding somebody's hair. I'm like, man, I, I'm like, man, I got my girl back. I know she cheated, but this made us stronger than ever. Fast forward, she started fucking with the other dude again. I called this this chick crazy amount of times. She picked up the phone and said, I cheated again. And I think that was the last straw. But my dumbass thought maybe I could prove my love to her. And I'm like, yeah, I want to get this name in old English in the back of my arm. Got the bitch's whole name blasted on the back of my fucking arm. Nigga, I thought I was gonna, I thought at this point. There's no way I'm flying fuck. This one was not going to deny me. This had to prove my love. I go get one of those floating heart diamond necklaces. Told her to come to the house. I said, look. And I showed her. And she was like, oh my God, why did you do that? And I said, because I love you. Like, that's why I got you blasted. I wanted to show you this was real. Here's your necklace. I put the necklace on her. The bitch took the necklace, all of that. I got the name blasted. I thought I actually got my bitch back that I never technically. When I told her I wanted to go see a movie. She said she wanna to go to that movie, I caught her at the same movie theater with the same ugly ass nigga. Now you make up relationships in your head and still get cheated on. What happened with, uh, with Zendaya and Tom Holland? Talk to me. You said they're dating? Oh, well shit, let me unfollow her on all social media platforms. If that's what she likes, blacklisted. Zendaya's a beautiful woman, but when you fuck with a lame ass guy, it lowers your sexy. Also, what's that you say about people without a BBC? No BBC Damn, by the way you lose your shit constantly, it's just letting everyone know you got a micro and you know it. It's painfully clear why you love BBC so much. Flashbacks to jail, no doubt, right, felon? You secrete estrogen with your fake confidence and project little dick energy. And remember what your ex said. I don't gag, baby. On nothing. You lost her, Dale. Now keep inhaling that copium. 
Dale, it's actually oddly fitting that you dressed up as Freddy Krueger. You both have fucked up faces, busted ass teeth, and you're both child predators. You groomed Elena when she was 17. Hell, she even posted about it being her biggest regret. And let's not forget about this gem of a clip. Be 60, nigga, and I'm still, if, if I'm 60, nigga, and if I could land an 18 year old bitch, nigga, I'm gonna do it. Boom. So, you know, end of the night's getting popping. She's like, so can we go in the room? I said, sure. We go in there, we start fooling around, kissing this and that. Mind you, I never really was attracted to her, but I was just like, fuck it, I've been knowing her for so long, I might as well fuck now that you're legal. Going the way of EDP 445. Might as well call yourself LTG 445, you fucking cradle snatcher. I'm in here minding my own fucking business. I'm minding my own business. I mind my own business, drop videos. Oh, is that a fact? Well, judging by your Twitter history, what about the countless people, mostly women, that you've harassed? And this is way before the Rock Hill situation. A big shout out to Kiwi Farms and Litter Trash Garbage for all the screenshots. You know what? Maybe I'll make a video on why gamers are single starring this fucking cuck. I've been single since 2017. Yeah, I fucking wonder why. Do you realize that I'm arrogant? Do you realize that I have a god complex? And it's not a cloak, it's not a shield. This is really me. It's with the garbage disposal, right? It was a hand that was just in there, just twisted, mutilated, everything like that. It was destroyed. From that point on, I kid you not, literally for years straight, there would be something in my head telling me to keep to stick my hand in the garbage disposal. Every time I go near a garbage disposal, it would be like I would almost do it, but I wouldn't. And I just, I felt like it was just like demons in my head telling me to put my hand in the fucking garbage disposal. It took me years to get those voices out of my head telling me to stick my hand in the garbage disposal. I'm not making this shit up or anything like that. Of course I didn't do it, but it just felt like, you know, you got something, you're battling something. I'm so many different people. Like I'm some, I'm somebody else outside of this. I'm somebody else outside of that. I'm somebody else outside of that. I don't believe in just having one personality and that's it. I live in multiple different, multiple different spectacles of myself because I'm not one person mentally. I don't believe in just having one, one version of yourself. You know, some people will label it multiple personality disorder, but it's not a disorder if I can control each version of myself to the T. So when I say, when I watch old stream clips and I feel like I'm having an out of body experience because I'm literally watching a version of myself. When I'm sitting here watching those rose clips and shit like that, I'm literally watching a version of myself do that. It always feels like out of body experience. <laughs> But it's not a disorder if I can control each version of myself to the T. You see the type? That's what I'm saying. The nigga's contradicting himself, you fucking bitch. Finally, we reached the last section of this video, and it's the most fucked up part too. Dale, regardless of what you say or how much you claim to change, I will never feel any sympathy for you, regardless of what befalls you. And it's due to that fucked up mentality. So I wanted to go ahead and diagnose you myself. And I leave this to the audience to decide for themselves how accurate my analysis is. Bear in mind, I'm not a psychologist, but I'm very confident in my diagnosis. Dale, I would classify you as a sophomaniac megalomaniac that also suffers from histrionic personality disorder. Now hold on Dale, don't have an aneurysm. I know, big words scare you. Hell, even simple words do too. Anyways, let me explain a little bit further. So starting with Sophomania, this is a person that has a delusion of having a higher intelligence. Don't tell me what the fuck to talk. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. There's a difference. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. Yeah, well, clearly that checks out. Now, a megalomaniac is a person that is obsessed with their own power, and they suffer from delusions of their own power or importance. It may seem very closely related to being a narcissist, but there is a difference. A megalomaniac is a step further. So narcissism is an exaggerated sense of self-love, while megalomania is an exaggerated sense of self-worth. Based on fantasies of power, attractiveness, and other physical and psychological attributes. And therefore, all megalomaniacs are narcissists, but not all narcissists are megalomaniacs. 
Lastly, Dale, you suffer from histrionic personality disorder, the symptoms being excessive attention seeking, engaging in inappropriate behaviors to gain praise or approval, acting out in order to always be the center of attention, being easily influenced by others, having an obsessive focus on your appearance, believing that relationships are closer or more intimate than they actually are, using one's looks or physical appearance to gain attention, and rapidly shifting emotional states centered on how events affect them which I'm pretty sure I've provided more than enough examples in this video. Now you guys could decide if... Holy shit, I just realized. Dale, you're Virgil. You ain't gonna muss me out of the way. I'm Virgil! Oh no, not Virgil from Devil May Cry, hell, not even the one from DMC. For those of you that may not know, this is Virgil from the game The Warriors. So let me tell you a little bit about Virgil. Virgil is also a megalomaniac. He is the leader of a gang of junkies that praise him, gas him up, and do as he says, even though they also secretly know he's a coward. Kinda sounds like the Covenant, no? Hell, even in the boss battle against him, it starts off as Virgil running away and hiding in a warehouse. And then when found, he is up on a balcony throwing molotovs at you. Zoning anyone? And in the second phase, he hides in the shadows like a coward, trying to avoid the fight or popping in to do cheap shots. And what do you know, he also hates the warriors. Looks like we finally found your video game equivalent, Dale. Now, this was meant to be a roast, not a whole fucking cremation. But just so you know, Dale, that throughout this whole video, I wasn't even going 2%. Open your eyes, motherfucker. You ain't nothing but ashes.